under the seal, funding and direction of Mr. George Soros and his foundation, the Open Society Institute. We call him a criminal. It is known that George Soros is a billionaire, a financial speculator and a criminal with obvious geostrategic and imperialistic interests who has been dedicating his life to supporting imperialist movements and to expand capitalism by shedding blood in countless countries over very many decades. We would like to inform national and international public opinion that they should not be fooled or confused if philanthropic actions appear to be funded by this man and his foundation. We must be clear that to Soros it's all the same to him whether he is financing civil rights movements or criminal movements either through peaceful or through violent means in order to destroy entire societies and nations. There are no shortage of examples. We cannot forget and should not forget that George Soros played a key role in the counter-revolutionary and anti-communist processes in Eastern Europe, especially between 1984 and 1989, supporting, for example, the anti-communist trade union movement Solidarity in Poland or supporting the Charter 77 in Czechoslovakia. Today, the world is witnessing the situation of countries like Libya and others. We know that Soros gave instructions on how to undermine the protests in Albania in 2011. Recently, Soros has acknowledged having funded the coup leaders in Ukraine in 2014, with all the atrocities that that supposed. Soros has intervened in the overthrow of former Brazilian President Dilma Rousseff, and he's no stranger to the war in Syria. The list of Soros' uh, destructive interventions in different countries is endless. All this so that it be known who George Soros is, how he works and what he works for, always with the aim of expanding his negative influence at the cost of financing destabilization movements in different countries of the world. If in doing this, terrorism and jihadism have to be financed, he finances it. For him, the attacks promoted by terrorists and jihadists, no matter how heinous they may be, do not matter. The important thing is that he destroys the target, his targets and accumulates more wealth. Equatorial Guinea is united as a single man supporting our head of state, His Excellency Obiang Ngema Mbasogo. We will continue fighting to maintain peace, social balance, national cohesion, and a social order, a healthy social order, and be a guardian of law and equity, proving that the children of this nation cannot be moved around like pieces on a global chessboard where the criminal George Soros is playing the game. Is this el that is the content of the official communique of the government of Equatorial Guinea. Are there arbitrary arrests? Are there, is there torture? Are there irregular trials? I mean, can you address these things and tell us that there are no problems with human rights in, in Equatorial Guinea? Yo no puedo decir que well, I can't tell you that Equatorial Guinea is a perfect country. There's no perfect country in the world.